Hey all you YouTubers, we're in the car, Richard and I, he's my passenger, and we're going to Aldi's, like I promised, we're going to go to one of the stores. I wanted to go to Trader Joe's, but I wasn't feeling up to par today, so we decided to go to Aldi's. Um, we'll see how it goes, there's a lot of Waldo's in Aldi's, and they don't like you to film, so if we get caught, I'll have to take some of this stuff home Tell and... Tell them what a Waldo is. They may not know what a Waldo is. Who's doing this? I'm sorry. If we get caught, I'll have to bring the products home and go over it with you. Richard wants me to tell you what a wall dough is. A wall dough is, my finger's in the way, a wall dough is an employee of all these, and they tell you, you can't film here, so we have to be very careful of wall doughs. So let me switch the camera around and get it started. Here is the all these in the villages off of 466A. It's quite a nice um, wall, uh, Aldi's, uh, or Aldi's, or however you pronounce it, from the north or south. So we're going to go in and see what we can buy. Bye. We're here at Aldi's, or Aldi's, whoever you pronounce it, and I picked up these vegetable, vegetable round crackers. And... One serving, you can have 24, and there's 24, there's eight, 80 calories, and there's 11 grams of carbs, and one gram of sugar. It's pretty good. Now the wheat ones are 24, 70 calories, 10 grams of carbs, and that's then so these are a little bit better, but they have wheat in them. So, and, and over here is the fresh fine. I can't get it blurry, it's blurry. Richard, can you film some of that stuff there? Just be quiet about it. Film some of that stuff there. Yeah. The drapes. So we got the Vital Life. Oh, look okay. at they got that multiple. That Where? Really the one, the one? Yeah, let me see that. Health aid, health aid, kombucha. And that's uh, two ninety five. Wow, it's glass. It's glass bottle. One bottle of Cold pressed juice. Two eighty nine. Uh -uh, no health aid. No good. Two ninety five. No 18 grams of carbs and 14 of it comes from sugar. Oh my goodness. So you, you're, you got about five teaspoons of sugar in that. Let me show everybody. Ooh, that's bad. Let me show. Maybe it's uh, focus. Just took 70 calories. Carbs, total sugar, 14 grams. No, that's not too good. That's not such a great thing to do. Uh, this is Mama's. Um, my focus is really having a hard time today. It's really weird. My focus is really giving me a hard time. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, this is what I was talking about that uh, all these has. It's called Simply Organic Oil and Vinegar Dressing. It's very low. Um, and then they got other ones up here, which I'm going to show you. See, they have the Greek. They have... Uh, all this up here, and they have, you know, the Italian, the Italians really, the Caesar is really tasty, and they're good for you, and they have very little, um, also they have the honey. Here, I'll get the honey for you, here. The honey is very good, too. Um, it's raw honey. The only thing is, I think it's from Florida. No, it's not from Florida, but this is really good honey, too, okay, and it's made in the USA which you really want to buy honey made in the USA. So onward and up. We're in the cereal aisle, and I picked this up thinking it was healthy. But when you flip it over, the grams of carbs is 19, and you're getting seven of that of sugar, and only two grams of fiber. So this is no good. No good on. This is green. This is what I was talking about. You can cook with this. It's a lot cheaper here than other places, but Walmart is still cheaper. 
So, okay. They've got these uh, cute garden figures here for $9.99 each, say $10. Uh, pelican, the bear, and I guess the, the dwarf or, or I don't know, the troll, the troll. The pelican, the bear, and the troll. $9.99. What a great deal. <laughs> what a great deal. Hey, YouTubers, we're home. I'm relaxing in my chair, but there were so many Waldos, I figured I'd wait till I got home. Um, I got their sauerkraut here, and it's made in Germany. And um, I know it's stand, it's maybe I, but Germans really make a good sauerkraut. It's not tart. It's not. Um, it doesn't give an aftertaste. It's, this sauerkraut is pretty good. Um, and the reason I um, came back because I want to tell you, it's sauerkraut has antioxidants in it. And it also has, um, it has a lot of uh, probiotics. So, you know, that really helps a lot. And all is in this ingredients is white cabbage and salt. Okay, so there's four grams of carbs in this. And out of those four grams of carbs, two grams is fiber. And one gram of sugar, which I think it's just, a, you know, the sauerkraut fermenting. And this is a product of Germany. They really do, and I'm, my grandfather was German, and we always ate German sauerkraut. But this is, my grandfather, my mo grandmother uh, made it from scratch. But this is really good. It comes close to homemade as you're going to get without all the work with it. So it's really delicious, and, it's, and it says right on there, made in Germany. Excellent sauerkraut. And another thing I wanted to talk to you about was um, when we were walking around, we got... Um, our milk there and our milk is made it's organic and um, yeah it's a little bit more because I priced the regular milk half a gallon of the regular milk was a dollar 89 I think and the whole pasteurized or the whole organic grass-fed milk is 3.29 so it is a little bit more but you know you get the benefits of it and um, they had a lot of different things there today. Um, you got to be careful because I thought this one drink was going to be good for us. I think Richard showed you it. It was just loaded, loaded with sugar. I think it had something like uh, the carbs were 19 and 14 of the carbs was coming from sugar, cane sugar. So I was like, whoo, because my cousin drinks a, a something like that. And it looked like that um, label, but it wasn't the same thing because hers has no sugar in it um you really have to watch out for that stuff and that's what reading labels is excellent because you can have what this is 20 20 car, uh carbs or 20 calories with this and you can have a half a cup of sauerkraut and it's very good it's like i said um it ferments and it becomes a anti it becomes a probiotic so if you people don't like yogurt, which I don't, this is really good for you. And, um, you know, you could load up a uh, hamburger or something with it. I bought, I found um, at BJ's, I do believe it was BJ's, Applegate hot dogs. They're grass-fed, grass-finished beef hot dogs. And let me tell you, they are delicious. We had them the other night for dinner, and they're really tasty. So, um, you know, you can find stuff like that. So, and then we had, um, we had beans and we put, I put Applegate bacon in it and made it really tasty. So, you know, you can do stuff like that. We didn't really want anything heavy. So we just wanted something light. So that's what we had for dinner one time. I did a roast yesterday, a pork roast, and I should have filmed it. I cooked it in the crock pot. And I cooked it for about, maybe about uh, all day. Like we, I put it in early morning and I put it on low and I cooked it for the day and we ate about five o'clock and I put some sauerkraut in it. And let me tell you, that was delicious. It really was delicious. And like I showed you, it came from Butcher, Butcher Box. 
So we have enough now for at least two more meals, if not three or four, because this, this pork roast was huge, and we only had four little slices off of it. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to give you some idea of how we, you know, we go shopping. I needed milk and I needed some stuff around. I needed some cat food for the kitty cats. Um, go figure, they used to like Fancy Feast. Now they like Aldi's brand. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these two cats, but, and they also eat blue uh, mountain cat food, which is low in carbs for them because I don't want them to get too heavy. And all of a sudden now they like Aldi's, I call it Great Poupon, but it's, um, it's all solid and they just love it. So I don't know, who knows? So that's my shopping adventure for this week. I think next week, um, next Thursday, I'll probably be going shopping at BJ's and maybe I'll do it and then do it for Saturday because, you know, I try to film the day before. The actual filming of this is Wednesday and it's done, put on earlier. So without further ado, again, I'd like to say thank you for uh, watching and um, just, you know, read your labels when you go to a store. Thank you very much. Thank you.